No way that I would get up here and preach if I didn't get it straightened out before I got up here. Amen. You say, why? Because I have a reverential fear and awe of God. I'm not, mm. I'm not afraid you'll strike me dead, but I tell you what I would be afraid of, there would be no anointing on what I said. Mm, right. And you, you, you have not had a miserable night until you're preaching and you're watching your watch hoping it gets over with. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ever had one of those and you say, oh, it wants to come out. But when you're flowing in God's anointing, you're just like you're flying and it can go on and on forever. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's yeah. amazing. But you, you got to live a little more narrow if you want to carry that anointing. You can't just do what you feel like doing all right. the time. Right. Amen. 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 So, Here's 10 things that you can do to handle trouble God's way. Mm. If somebody's hurt you, forgive them. Like I said last night, forgive people while they're still in the process of making you mad. So good. Get so good at it that you get over it before they get done. When you're having trouble, don't feel sorry for yourself because everybody has trouble. And no matter how bad you think you've got it, there's somebody that's got it worse than you. Right. When I was in 